He was one of daytime's rising stars on The Young and the Restless. Then Tom Beard suddenly walked away. He was one of soap opera's biggest stars. He was on top of the soap opera world. Um, I don't understand. Every major soap magazine and thousands of fans wanted a piece of him. But after three years, at the peak of his career as Philip Chancellor on The Young and the Restless, a murder in his hometown of Kenosha, Wisconsin, shatters his world. My sister left a message saying, Tommy, we have to talk, something's happened to mom. And I called her back and she said, uh, Troy did it, Troy killed her. And, uh, I was like, what? You know, couldn't figure out why, how? I was not around the routines of abuse he was putting her through. She protected me in Hollywood and didn't tell me everything that was going on. Beards turned to the canvas after a tragedy of his own, a schizophrenic brother who murdered their mom. She had a problem with me, and she'd, she'd say, uh, at first she said, uh, uh, you got a problem with school, you got school full, but she'd tell me what I had a problem with, and I, I okay, you know, you're my mom, I believe you. She took him to like 40 doctors, and almost all of them said, he's just angry. There's no mental illness here. How can you prove that? He choked a nurse at, at one point. He escaped psychiatric hospitals. Uh, he, uh, he, he kept diaries on killing animals and insects, and he wrote satanic poems. In jail at the time, I might have... Uh, thought of, of Charlie Manson in the eyes and went, went from there I, I could have went into you know you, if like you sometimes think that prisoners are cool to each other and everything and, you know they'll fight for you or whatever protect you maybe like a big guy a little guy or just rape or whatever I, I used him and he uh, showed me what to do with this power well, I know that uh, this is my little brother and there was a while when uh, I forgot that and I'm very glad that uh, we have this relationship again. And he knows how important he is to me. Yeah. Uh, Troy and I have a great deal in common. We're both sensitive guys. Uh, you know, we're both artistic. And we both have small worlds. You know, right now I live in Lake Arrowhead. And I live in a place and I, you know, I'm very comfortable not seeing people. I've got my rescue dogs. I'm, I don't need I don't need a big life. He also is very sensitive and paranoid around people. And now at least he is in the psychiatric facility of a prison. If you choose a life's dangerous highway, may you find the gentle road back home. Find the gentle road back home Now we both know I'm not perfect There's no guidebook to this kind of thing I just want us to be better And build on the strength from within Cause we can rewrite the rest of this story Better than anyone can It's a new set of rules And now this is where we begin Anyone can change Anyone can grow Everyone's got their crosses to bear And I've got a few of my mom's funeral and Troy was still missing at that point so here we are at the funeral wondering is Troy going to break through with the machine gun and kill us all because apparently he wanted to do that they had found his uh they found letters he had been taunting them from uh, uh somewhere you know the, and uh uh like six days later they arrested him around the Texas Mexico border. And Troy was the first person in Wisconsin to get life, meaning life. Anyone can change.
the person that forgives is the one that gets the gift. Because I thought I was doing her a favor and him a favor. Then I was the one that got everything. So, you know, that that's that's what forgiving, you know, is, and I know that. Well, it was an astounding, mind blowing trip for me to get to forgive my brother. And it required mir miraculous interventions. It's in my book. The paintbrush became Beard's therapy. Because it keeps me right in the moment there. These days, I live full time in Lake Arrowhead, California, such a beautiful place, as a full time artist. Painting is my passion. Here with Tom Beards. Tom, thank you so much for coming in. Sure, my pleasure to be here. You are just amazing. Your artwork is uh, phenomenal. It has that impressionist quality to it. Just so wonderful. I know that there are a lot of also, you know, celebrities who are collecting your art. Mm -hmm. It's true. Many celebrities own Beards's. My latest mission takes place in a world in which millions of dollars change hands every year. The L.A. art scene. Juan's challenged me to test his security by trying to steal a painting from his gallery. I reveal our target for this job. The House of Doria. A painting by Tom Beards, one of L.A.'s hottest young artists. I don't love acting like I love painting, but every Eight once in a while I'm on the on set. The young and the restless. Our entertainment tonight cover story. I felt trapped in my own skin. That's what I'm talking about. Who am I? You guys don't know who I am. No, 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 you don't know who I am. Put on some clothes, all right? I want to get something to eat before we go to that gallery opening. Oh. Hey, baby. Hey. hey, Nathan, how you doing? Hey, Bobby. Good. Um, Would you join us for lunch? No, you know, I, I've got a lot of... Uh... Looks good. Oh, hey. well, I'm back. I mean... My brother killed our mom in the kitchen with a baseball bat. So I'm sure this indicates that. He said she was a nag. But I intentionally tried to hide the gravity in this piece. The numbing by overstimulus. That's pretty much why I left Hollywood after 29 years. And now I live in an isolated cabin in the woods painting pictures. Hollywood lights replaced with Lake Arrowhead trees. Beards retreats to what he calls his treehouse and invites me into his home and into his conscience. Uh, I've had the honor of working with Jeannie Cooper, one of the soap opera greats. From the Young and the Restless. This lady helped me so much. I didn't want to make this just a pretty picture because she was a lot more than just a pretty picture. Almost every weekend, 20 years ago, I would fly to different malls in the country and I would sign autographs. They thought I was straight, and I wanted them to believe I was straight. I could not tell them that my boyfriend was right there in the audience supporting me. My brother, who eventually killed himself, was sucked into a very unhealthy relationship. When Tom's other brother, Craig, committed suicide. He was sitting on the closet floor. Uh, he had shot himself through his mouth in a depression. He transformed into kind of a rabbit, a scared rabbit, and the gold ropes confining him became this clown mouth, and I added clown eyes and a clown nose, because forcing anybody to love you is such a ridiculous thing. What gave you the strength to be sitting here today? I, I, I'm gay, and as a young child, sometimes if you're gay, you separate. Because sure. being raised Catholic, I was told I was going to hell. Of course. So you kind of put a distance between you, and you learn to be more of a survivor. Interesting. That may be the reason. Mm -hmm. Did many paintings trying to capture the peaceful solitude of nature. Tonight at this historic event, everybody, Tom Beard's did this. live you can see Tom's work through this weekend his paintings and the variety of styles may catch you off guard 
Hi there, my name is Tom Beards. I'm an artist, president of the American Art Awards. And I truly believe I am the happiest man on earth. My life is fantastic. Yes, I certainly triumphed over tragedy.